How did he fracture his femur? He got hit with a with an iron rod. Oh wow. On his thigh. Okay. Dr. Johnny, thank you. You're gonna tell tell us a little bit about how to put on the hair traction splint. Yeah. So uh, this is a this is a hair traction splint that you see. We have a we have three straps here. We have a high thigh strap. We have the top of the splint, which goes just behind his butt here. Um, if you come down the splint, we have an ankle collar here. We have a hitch, and we have a traction mechanism here. Um, so the, the correct way to apply the splint is, is one, to measure it out against the good leg. Second thing you do is open up all the Velcro straps. Then you can apply the ankle collar, slide it underneath his leg. The first thing you apply is the high thigh splint up here, the high thigh Velcro. Um, and as you see that goes, comes out from the medial aspect of his leg and over the top of his thigh. Um, this is all done while a second provider is holding his, his ankle in traction. Um, you then connect the, the hitch to the traction mechanism and you clamp this down and you do this until spasm is after, relieved. After you've slid it under his, and once, his buttocks. Once you've got the whole splint under his buttocks, yes sir. Okay. Um, you slide this, you, you, you basically tack this down until his leg is equal length with the normal leg and there's no spasm in his muscle. Okay. At which point you then come in and close the three Velcros that are that are over the middle of his leg. Okay, so I'm a little confused. Sometimes you'll see recommendations to have two, two above and two below, um, but I guess there's if it works, it works. Yeah. As far as straps are concerned. So. Yeah. The the real aim is to not have a velcro over the actual fracture site. Okay. What about nerve vascular assessment? So I mean, you gotta you gotta do a neurological vascular assessment before application of the traction splint. You gotta do one after application of the traction splint as well. Okay, all right, sounds good. And obviously, we give the patient pain medication before. Uh, obviously, if you can before you put the traction splint on. So yeah, yeah. One thing to note is this is for uh, femur fractures. It can be done for open femur fractures, except where the bone is poking through, because you don't want an EMT pulling the bone back into the skin. If it's being done pre-hospitalized. Yeah. Okay. Pre yeah. All right. I want to thank the patient for letting me uh, do this video. He understands that we use it for teaching. We end up on YouTube and all that. But no, no way will he be identified. So, all right. Thanks, Dr. John. Rob.